Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Purchase Orders window is used to order inventory items from vendors. You can then receive the items as they are shipped in the Purchases Receive Inventory window. Purchase orders can be edited by adding or removing line items and do not actually affect the amount in the Accounts Payable account until you receive the items ordered. You open the Purchase Orders window by selecting Tasks, Purchase Orders from the menu bar. To create a new purchase order if needed, click the New button in the Windows toolbar. Select the Vendor ID of the vendor for whom you are creating the purchase order from the drop-down of the same name. If you create purchase orders in an external application, enter the purchase order number into the PO number box. If you plan on printing the purchase order in Sage 50, then leave this field blank as it is assigned during printing. Enter the date the purchase order was created and set the good through date too. Your address information should appear in the ship to field. If your billing address is different from your shipping address, you can enter the shipping address here. You may also notice a small checkbox for Close PO. Note that you can check this box to manually close a purchase order you created. If you later learn you won't be receiving all the items ordered, it will automatically check itself once all items from a purchase order are received. Below that are the Customer SO Number, Customer Invoice Number, Discount Amount, Terms, Ship Via, and AP Account Fields. After you have checked and changed that information if needed, enter the goods and or services to purchase into the line item area. If entering a PO for a vendor marked as a preferred vendor for a particular item, you can use the Auto Fill button to automatically add line items to the purchase order for any low stock items you routinely order from the currently selected vendor. Enter the quantity of each item to order into the Quantity field. The Received field shows how many items were received on previous bills. The Item field shows the item ID of items if used. The Description shows the description of the selected item. The GL Account field shows the item's inventory account. When ordering items not in inventory, it defaults to the vendor's purchase account. This can be changed if needed. You also need to enter the unit price and amount. You can view the current vendor balance in the lower left corner. Clicking the right pointing arrow here shows you a report on that selected vendor. To save the purchase order when finished, click the Save button in the Windows toolbar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.